guys welcome back di Watchdog Legends ya kita lanjutkan di video terakhir itu guys kita sudah berhasil mengekspos kejahatannya Richard Malik dan membersihkan nama Desek dari tuduhan pemboman di Canada House setelah Malik ini ditahan di markas besarnya Desek kita dapat kabar kalau undangan pelanggan budaknya Mary Kelly ini sudah dikirimkan menggunakan drone nah kalau kalian ingat si Bagley ini disuruh sama Sabin untuk pantau jaringan drone ya menunggu si Mary Kelly ini kirim drone nya dia gitu dari drone ini akhirnya kita berhasil bajak ya, dan kita dapat undangan kalau lokasi pelelangan itu berada di Hackney Bath. Nah rencananya kita akan kumpulin barang bukti seperti blueprint, tanda terima, dokumen, atau mungkin video log ya, yang nantinya itu akan Inspektur Kathleen serahkan ke Kejaksaan Agung untuk mengadili si Mary Kelly ini. Sampainya di sana, kita menemukan proyek Golden Goose dari Mary Kelly. Jadi Golden Goose ini tuh semacam marketplace tapi di dark web yang ngejual obat-obatan, manusia, kemudian ada budak, organ, senjata, dan barang-barang ilegal lah. Selain itu, kita juga menemukan sebuah audio rekaman pembicaraan antara Mary Kelly dan Zero Day. Miss Kelly, why is our explosive shipment delayed? You've received crypto. Every penny, love. Must admit, I thought you were some trolls chatting shit in mum's basement. And what do you think now? I think you're well funded. And my organization could be implicated in something quite ghastly. I think the price just doubled. True to your reputation. But we can offer you something more valuable than money. <laughs> What's that then? Power. We can make you the Queen of London. Queen, eh? A queen is sovereign, autonomous. Unchecked. Release our shipment, and London will be yours to rule. Well, oh, I know a good deal when I hear one. Fireworks are on the way. Careful you don't burn yourselves now. Selanjutnya kita akan mengambil data-data dari server Golden Goose ini ya, kemudian menghancurkannya. Menurut informasi dari Bagley, lokasi servernya itu berada di gedung Newgate. Selain itu, Bagley juga bilang ya kalau alat pengendali microchip ada di sana. Tujuan selanjutnya dari DeadSec adalah menyelamatkan orang-orang yang ditahan sama Mary Kelly ini. Dari Bagley terungkap kalau markasnya si Mary Kelly ini berada di Sandstone Residence. Jadi kita akan langsung ke sana. Come on then. I don't need no fucking microchip to gut you filthy bastards. Oh. <laughs> Dead sick is it? At least your timing's good. The mat's coming to take you in. Oh, I am counting on it, love. Everyone freeze. Back away from her. Mary Kelly, you're under arrest. Take me in, Inspector. I'll throw myself on the mercy of the bleeding court. But don't plan on me staying around very long. You lot! I gave you purpose when this city spit you out! We'll be seeing each other again very soon. Stop! You don't think she's gonna let you scum take her white whale? Who are you protecting? The system or the people? Promise us. Promise us. She won't go free. Nah, setelah Mary Kelly tewas, kita dapat kabar lagi dari Bulaji 
kalau Nigel Cash ini akan mengumumkan proyek terbarunya di sebuah press conference. Informasi ini boleh didapat dari kenalan orang dalamnya di Albion yang bernama Radu. Radu ini merasa sangat khawatir ya dengan proyeknya Nigel Cash ini dan bermaksud menghentikan Nigel sampai-sampai ia menyerangnya saat press conference sedang berlangsung. Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. We don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up! Keep it civil. Dari rekaman audio milik Radu, diketahui kalau proyek Nigel yang dimaksud ini adalah proyek Temis guys, yang sempat dihapus algoritma live score-nya. Tapi Nigel ini punya tim khusus yang berhasil membangun algoritma ini kembali, kemudian dilakukan sejumlah peningkatan atau improvement. Belaji kemudian menyarankan ya untuk menghancurkan drone-drone ini dengan cara kita nge-upload virus ke hub komunikasi utama yang ada di Tower Bridge. Dan ternyata sukses ya. Kita berhasil menghancurkan drone-drone tersebut. Selanjutnya, Nigel Cash akan menjadi target utama DeadSec. Jadi pertemuan digelar untuk membahas bagaimana kita menjatuhkannya. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DeadSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio One, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal. But now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. What a fucking lie! He was a millimeter from killing everyone even thinking about standing against him. And now he's playing the victim. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Yeah, some of us had an idea about that. Go ahead, Bagley. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went after Waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Dalam penyelidikan lebih lanjut, ternyata si Claire ini sudah tewas, guys ya. Jadi dia tuh sempat bertemu dengan sumber orang dalamnya Nigel Cass, yang mana dia bilang kalau dia punya bukti audio pembicaraan atau rekaman yang bisa mengungkapkan jati dirinya si Nigel Cass ini ke publik gitu, guys. Sayangnya pada saat dia sedang mentransfer data itu ke hard drive milik Claire, tempat mereka ini tiba-tiba diserang oleh pasukannya Albion, dan seluruh peralatan rekamannya si Claire ini tuh diambil, guys ya. Jadi tujuan selanjutnya, kita akan pergi untuk mengambil peralatan rekamannya si Claire 
sekaligus mencari data rekaman audio yang diserahkan sama orang dalamnya si Albion ini. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr. Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out. I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that <laughs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's Here. Transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some pilots. Security, drop your weapons! You can't do this! Gather all our equipment and get it into the carousel. Do take that wall, then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? Well, I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Barang-barang bukti yang sudah kita dapatkan ini kemudian akan ditayangkan di Piccadilly Circus sehingga dapat ditonton oleh publik, guys. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Tone Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tactics for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Mish. Ha-ha. <laughs> no longer a recluse, I see. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Hey! Hey! Fucking wankers! Looks like Albion's still a force to be reckoned with. Selain ditayangkan di Piccadilly Circus, Bulaji juga mengirimkan semua barang bukti ke media-media London, sehingga pemberitaan tentang kejahatan Nigel Cass ini ramai diberitakan. The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Usai mendengarkan pemberitaan itu, Datsek memutuskan untuk melakukan konfrontasi dengan Nigel Cass di White Tower tempat ia bersembunyi. Ternyata di dalam sana, si Nigel ini tuh punya sebuah alat prototipe kayak senjata perang gitu ya guys, yang harus kita taklukkan terlebih dahulu. 
sebelum kita bisa ngelawan si Nigel. Come to end it, have you, dead sick? But haven't you figured it out yet? What our mutual acquaintance zero days set in motion? My inevitable reign and your downfall. This is how it will always end. The natural order of people like me and people like you. I am the law. Come down. Let me show you. Let's get this over with. Time to end this. I will make London great again. Start. Oh, it's a thankless burden. And the people will hate you for it in the end. Even when it's for their own bloody good. <laughs> the people know what is and isn't for their own bloody good. <sighs> there it is. Dead sex fatal flaw. Your faith in people. You recruit all types, don't you, straight off the streets? Well, I used to have faith in people, too. I got a good man killed once. Oke, okay, setelah Nigel Cash mati, seluruh operatif DeadSec ini kemudian berkumpul ya di safe house atau markasnya DeadSec untuk merayakan kemenangan mereka, guys. Nah, di sana, Bolaji, Inspector Lau, dan juga Naut dari Hacktivist 404 hadir untuk merayakan kemenangan mereka. Good to see you, Hamish. Does this mean you're joining the resistance? No, nah, mate. Gotta maintain my free agent status. Not enough booby traps in this place. Still, I'm glad we linked up. Don't know who else would have had the bollocks to take on Cass. Losing their psycho cult leader is gonna hurt Albion, no doubt. But trust me, fam, they won't pack it in so easily. Hope Dead Sex got some fight left in it. Inspector Caitlin Lau. I didn't think you'd be interested in partying with vigilantes. <laughs> I'm only human, and we've got a lot to celebrate. Cass finally got what was coming to him, and with Mary gone, the Kellys are on the back foot for once. DeadSec is making it hard to be a bad guy in London. Until the Met gets its bollocks back, I'm still on Team DeadSec. Take it a break.
break from the hacktivism, are we? A well-deserved one. Since we teamed up, the corporate class are thinking twice about fucking with London. See what happened to Castle Avon pissing in their trousers. The tide is turning, mate. Keep fighting, and I'll fight along with you. Laters. What's so funny, Malik? Explain. And spoil my one source of entertainment? I'll give you a hint. Spooky voice, catchy name, bit of a drama queen. Or did you just forget that you haven't actually found Zero Day? You looked at Albion, Sirs, the Kellys, even Sky and the Luddy Larson. Have you ever considered that instead of looking outside, you should be looking in? We have a problem. Come talk to me. Mate. Sorry to spoil the party, but we have an uninvited guest in the Deadset Network. They're downloading all the tech we've acquired to a remote device labeled Drill Britannia. What the fuck? Deadset. The name is Zero Day. We've met before, in a past life. This city needed a villain, and you were perfect for the part. Now I have you playing a different role. While you've been running around trying to save this city, you've actually been arming us for a war. But then, it isn't always for us to know the role we play. And sometimes, once we've played it, our role is to die. Alright guys, untuk video part kali ini, harus gua pause dulu ya. Kita akan melanjutkan lagi di part ke-9 sekaligus menjadi ending dari game Watch Dogs Legends. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.